Oh, it's your time now, yeah, that's what everybody say I used to wanna be on Rockefeller, then I turned into Jay Now I got a house in LA, now I got a bigger pool than Ye And look, man, Ye's pool is nice, mine's just bigger is what I'm saying you might not believe me, but I'm actually sitting on two textbooks just to be in frame right now. Literally what happens when you're like five feet tall. Just saying. So you guys have really been wanting to see a mascara routine and I've been really, really wanting to film one. So today I'm going to sit down and show you guys how I do my mascara routine. As you guys can probably see, my eyelashes literally look non-existent without mascara. Um, and my eyelashes do grow straight down, so it's really hard for me to find mascaras that work for me. Um, if you do have the same problem, then definitely stick around because I have literally found the key to success. Like, the key to success. So if you guys are interested in how I do my mascara routine, then keep on watching. Only high-end mascara that I really, really do like is Better Than Sex by Too Faced. But I will not be using that in this tutorial. I will only be showing you guys drugstore mascaras because I feel like even though these are more on the cheaper side, they just do the job. And you don't have to go out spending like $30 on a mascara just to get an amazing effect. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know that because most people do get their mascaras from the drugstore. So one of my favorites is Maybelline the Falsies Push-Up Drama and it is the waterproof formula. If you've been watching me for like the past two months maybe, I have been using this non-stop. If you see me in real life, I'm probably wearing this. Another one of my favorites is Maybelline's Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect and it's the regular formula. These two are just amazing. Personally, I think I like this one more, um, but I do tend to like more waterproof formulas because it helps keep my lashes curled, and if you do have straight lashes, then literally waterproof mascara is what you need in your life. Step number one, if you have super straight lashes, is eyelash curler. You need an eyelash curler. So you literally, I don't know what I would do without an eyelash curler. I would have sad eyelashes. But I have the Revlon eyelash curler and this is literally like $3.50 at Walmart. So we're not breaking the bank here, but our lashes, they're gonna look like we spent like $40 on them. So the other thing that you're going to need, <laughs> here's when I get the weird looks. You're going to need a blow dryer and I know you're like, what the hell are you doing? Um, so a blow dryer and you're gonna need to set the heat all the way up so this is just it doesn't have to be like a special blow dryer or anything I just use the nanotech one I don't even know where I got this probably Walmart and you're gonna need this and you're gonna need to set it to the highest heat and you're going to need your eyelash curler the key to success with straight lashes is just a heated eyelash curler and I was like I don't have money to spend on a heated eyelash curler because those can be pretty expensive but I did really like understand the concept that just like how you straighten your hair, like I straightened my hair today, you need heat for it to stay. So I thought of a blow dryer and yeah, it worked. So I'm gonna just blow dry this until the rubber part, which is the red part on this, gets really warm. And then I'm gonna wait for it to cool off a little bit and then curl my lashes and you'll be like, god damn. Like Drake voice, god damn. Whoa, there's a huge difference. So I'm going to let this cool off for a little bit and you want to let it cool off before you burn yourself, okay? So I like to squeeze the little handle multiple times just because I feel like it gives me the best effect. Whoa, look who has eyelashes, me. Sorry, my eyes are watering. They are very sensitive, so yeah. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to warm it up again and then I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll go back in and if I want to curl them again I will so so I'm just gonna curl them without heating the wand I'm just gonna curl them again just with whatever heat is left on this like at least I look like I have some lashes there and I do have long lashes, they just grow straight down, so. So the first mascara that I like going in with is the Maybelline Push-Up Drama because it's waterproof, and waterproof does tend to hold a curl, at least I've noticed on my eyelashes, way more than regular formulas, so this won't bring down my lashes, and the wand just looks like this. I'm just going to apply one coat 
to my lashes and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll show you what I do next. So I like to look down when I'm doing this and I just start at the root of my lashes or the base, whatever you wanna call it, and I just wiggle, I just wiggle my wand. There's no special way that I like to run a mascara wand through my eyelashes. I feel like every way is the same way. I feel like it doesn't make a difference. So that's one coat on this side and then I'm gonna do the other side. So this can get messy, but I just go in with a Q-tip and I just clean it all up. I wait for the mascara to dry and then I clean it up because I feel like it just flakes off instead of smudging all over the place, especially if I have eyeshadow done or something like that. Okay, so that is only one coat and this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna wait for this one to dry. Just let them dry completely. You want them to completely dry. This is the problem that a lot of people run into. You really need to wait for it to dry before you add another layer. I know some mascaras, it's like when you wait for it to dry and you add another layer that it flakes all over the place. But personally, I don't find a problem with this mascara and doing that. Um, but I do find that you have to wait for it to fully dry. So now that it's pretty much dried, I'm going to go in with the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And this formula is a little bit more wet than the first one. Um, and I'm going to just run through it with one coat of mascara. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm just gonna let my eyelashes dry again and then I will do the final step and I will show you. Okay, so now that my eyelashes are fully dried and you wanna make sure that your eyelashes are completely 100% dried, I'm going to go back in with my eyelash curler. I'm not gonna use any heat this time. You can if you want to, but personally, I don't know. I just don't wanna use heat again. So I'm just gonna be taking the eyelash curler and I'm gonna curl my lashes for the final time and this just makes sure that it stays up and it just keeps them in that position throughout the entire day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, you don't want to do this when your eyelashes are still wet because you can rip out your eyelashes if they are still wet because it can get stuck to this. So that is what they look like. And I do kind of go in and like I play with my lashes a little bit just to make sure they're all separated because I don't like them to be super clumpy. So now that my lashes are curled, I don't do this all the time, but you can go in with a spoolie and just like fix them to make sure that, you know, they're all separated how you want them to be. And sometimes I just go in with my finger and I separate them. There's nothing special to how I do my bottom lashes, so I will do my bottom lashes and I'll come back. So as you guys can see, there's not much to my lashes. I don't use the blow dryer method every single day. Sometimes I'll just curl them and put on mascara and it doesn't look this good, but it still makes me look like I have lashes. So I will have everything listed in the down bar below. Um, definitely request what you guys want to see next. Um, I know I have a lot of people asking me to do a eyebrow routine, so that might be next. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any questions, then leave them down below, and I will see you guys very shortly. Bye!